Hello everybody, welcome to your art class. Uh, today, I'm going to teach you about drawing things. What? In art class, we're going to learn about drawing things? That's right. I'm joking around a little bit, but yeah, I'm going to teach you to draw like something that you see or something that you have a picture of. Okay, so we're going to start with a puppy, a cute little puppy, okay? Let me find a good one for this. Oh, there's so many, I could just get distracted looking at pictures of puppies. I'm just trying to find a good one for our drawing purposes. Let's do this one, this is great. So I'm going to take this picture and put it in here. All right, so we've got this puppy. Now when you see something and you want to draw what you see, there's one big secret to it, and that is breaking it down into shapes. you got to try to figure out what shapes you're looking at, the basic shapes. So, for instance, this puppy's head, I see a round shape here for the head. The snout, we have a little shape kind of for the snout too, don't we? The body is like this kind of weird pear shape. You see that? You see those shapes? Got like maybe a shape for the leg, shape for this arm, shape for this arm. You see that? So we've broken it down into some pretty simple shapes. Um, and now let me show you what I'm going to do on my paper. Should make this big. All right. So, you're going to want a pencil for this, and we're going to do something called sketching. Sketching is where you draw lightly. Now, I'm kind of upside down, so that's tough. I'll draw sideways here, so it'll be kind of a compromise for us. So, first I'm going to sketch the shape of the head. And you'll notice I'm drawing so lightly that you can barely, you can barely see that, okay? That's because I'm going to erase this later. So, just draw lightly, and then you can affix it and adjust it to get it how you want. So I've got, that's that head shape. And then I will work on that body shape, which is like, we looked at kind of a big sort of pear shape for the body. We had this shape for the leg coming off the side, this shape for this leg, and this leg. And then the snout kind of comes out here, right? So if you look at this, you see how I matched those shapes that I found on the dog, right? You've got an ear, too. You can add the ear shape. Okay? So it's all about trying to pick out the basic shapes. Once you have that, that's when you can go in and draw all the little details. So you start big, and you get smaller and smaller as you go, all right? And that's what sketching is about, is like, I can fix this. Like, if this nose doesn't look right, I can just get it so it's the right shape. You can kind of erase things and fix things and just get them looking just right. So we do that first. Now I go in with details. Like, where's the eye going to be? And I'm still sketching. I'm not, like, fully drawing this yet. I'm not committing to it, because I know I might have to change it. So i kind of sketching where the eye is. Maybe I'll sketch out a shape for where the nose would be, right about there. And I can look at the shapes in the mouth. Give you kind of a happy mouth like that. And this is something that's also very important to remember. Your picture is not going to look exactly like the picture you're drawing, and that is okay. What you're doing is you're creating your own artwork, and you're getting ideas from that one. But you don't need to worry about making it look exactly like it. It's okay if it doesn't head, and then maybe I can shape out the ear a little more, and be like, well, it's a little fuzzy over here, and then maybe kind of see how I'm erasing as I'm drawing, and it comes down to a point like that. See where I'm doing with it? Adding more detail to each part, now that I know where the big shapes are. Maybe I could shape out this arm a little bit. I mean, it's really just fuzzy. It has grass underneath, so you can't see the paws, so I'll draw the grass. With the arm, the body here, and some fur on his belly, this little leg, I can kind of adjust that shape. It comes out and then in, and you can see the tail a little bit there. 
See how I'm doing that now? Now is when we get to little details, right? So like maybe I'll draw the pupil for the eye. I'll work on that eye a little more. Cute little puppy eye. And maybe I'll draw the hairs, the furs. Maybe I'll get, I'll work this mouth out a little bit more. Down like this. A big puppy tongue. You can see some little puppy teeth. Maybe make the chin a little furry. And then you can also erase lines that you don't need from when we made the shapes. Like maybe I don't need this line under here, right? Erase things you don't need. So I got some details, I got fur. And now is the part where I'm going to go in and draw these lines pretty hard. Like I'm really going to commit to it. I'm going to say this is how I want it to look. I might even do a little shading, like a little color in mean, of some parts. But I'm going to draw really hard now. I'm not going to erase these lines. These line, these are my permanent lines that I'm making. Once I've got everything looking right, it's time to be done sketching and go in and make some real lines. And if you want, you can add some shading. I like to just do a little bit of light coloring and shading. The parts that are far, like behind, you know how like these legs are in the front? I'll leave those light. But then the belly's a little bit behind, so I'll make it darker. You can even see on this picture down here, the belly's darker and then the legs are lighter, right? You can do a little shading if you want. The mouth kind of comes toward you, so this part's behind, so I'll shade that a little bit. Let me just do a little shading on the ear. And that's my puppy. It's pretty cute. Does it look exactly like the picture? No. And that's fine. But yeah, that's my puppy. He's pretty cute. I'm, I'm happy with it. So you got to see that whole process of how I did that. Let's try something different. Maybe you want to do this with a Pokemon. Let's try Pikachu. Everybody always wants to draw Pikachu, so we're going to do it. Look at this. This is what Pikachu used to look like. Pretty round. <laughs> All right. Pika! Okay, so let's look at the shapes here in Pikachu. What do we got? So, Pikachu's head. Oh, that green is too close. Maybe blue? Yeah. Pikachu's head, we've, it's, it's like a round shape, but the cheeks come out a little bit. You see that? It's like round, but it's a little wider at the bottom because the cheeks come out. And then Pikachu's body is like this kind of wide shape, comes up a little at the bottom like that. Okay, you see those two shapes, the head shape and the body shape. Those are basic Pikachu shapes. So I'm going to sketch out the head. It's round, but the cheeks come out a little bit at the bottom, don't they? And I'll erase and adjust a little bit to get that looking how I want it's probably not going to come out right the first time, and, and that's okay. A lot of times students just get frustrated. They try the first time, and they're like, this looks not how I want it. I give up. Well, that's kind of silly, because even I don't even get things right the first time. That's why we sketch, so that we can adjust and fix things. So you might have to do it 10 times to get it just right, and that's fine. Now I'll draw the body shape. It kind of comes down like this, and then the bottom kind of comes. It's got this weird kind of wiggly shape. That's maybe a little too extreme. It's not quite like that. There we go. A little better. Maybe this part's coming out a little too much and bring it in. See how I'm just adjusting? All right, and then we give little feet. We can add the extra shapes, the little feet shapes. There's a foot, there's a foot. We got the ear shapes, they're the pointy shapes. So we got one big pointy here. I'm big pointy here. The hands are like almost like football shapes, but they got these little 
pointies on the end, so kind of like that with little pointy fingers. See that? I'm just mimicking the shapes I see on the screen. And the tail, this is a more complicated shape. Zigzag, zigzag, zig. And then it follows the same zigzag, zig, right? So it goes up, 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 up. And then up, and it goes da, da, da. See? Is this perfect? No. But it's all right. See, I made the head a little too small. The body's bigger than the head for this, and that's not quite how this picture is. But that's all right. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. This could just be practice. So I draw the cheeks. I'm going to sketch the face before I draw it hard because I want to get it in the right spot. If you make his mouth too far down, it might not look right. If you put the eyes... A lot of times I put the eyes in a weird spot and I have to do the eyes a few times. That looks about right. It's got a little circle in there. It's not really... I've been drawing Pikachu's nose wrong this whole time. Alright, so now I've got a Pikachu. It looks good enough. Maybe I'll, you know, I was saying the head's a little too small, so I can still, it's not too late. I can adjust that up. I can make Pikachu's head bigger. This is why we sketch. Cheeks down here. There we go. Looks a little chubby now. That's all right, though. So now we can draw these lines harder. Now that I kind of have it how I want, I have a guide for how to do it. So I can make those lines official. Erase any of these extra sketchy lines that I don't need. And there's my whole Pikachu. So you can see how I did that. That's how I did that. Just a minute. Let me look at something here. Okay. Let's check in our time. All right, so we've made a puppy and a pika. Let's just try something else. Hmm, let's see. Let's try a dragon. A lot of cool dragons. And a dragon is something that students want to draw a lot but don't necessarily know how to draw. So now I'm happy to help. Oh, this looks like a cool one, and it looks challenging. I like it. Let's do it. Let's take the dragon challenge. We're not dragging our feet anymore. We're just going to do it. Okay. So, dragon, wow, that is a really complex picture. How? I, I could never draw that. How am I supposed to draw that? Well, shapes. Shapes, shapes, shapes. So let's take, out, let's take a look at the shapes. The body and the tail. Just, let's just draw, start with the body. It's a banana. That's all it is. This thing's body is a banana. I'm going to sketch out my banana shape, but I'm going to leave room for the rest because I know there's more to it. Banana shape. You can do that. And just remember, it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture. It can look a little different. Next shape. Let's get the top of the head. Comes up like that. Goes up and over, like this. Okay. And then the head shape, let's make it simple. It's like a triangle. Okay. That's all we're going to do to start. A big triangle like that. Okay? Basic shapes. Simple first, then get more complex. Let's look at these wings. This wing is just a big triangle. That's all it is. This wing is just a big triangle. See that? That's how we break down the basic shapes. So, 
It starts down here near the middle of the chest, comes up, over, and in. Same one over here, up, over, and in. See that? Just two triangles, that's all it is. The tail is, well, I would call that a tail shape. I don't know what else to do, it goes up and down. It doesn't follow it, and it gets skinnier on the end, up and down, tail shape. Okay, now we're getting into legs. This leg comes down here, just like that. This one comes out. This one's all a weirder shape. You see that? Something like that. Just getting the basics. This hand can come down here. And this hand goes back and then down. It's more of a wiggly shape. Something like that. I don't know. This doesn't look how I want it. Let me try again. Over and down. You just do simpler like that. That's fine. I'll do the details later. So now I've got the basic shapes of my dragon. Does everything look like it's the right size, the right shape? Because now is your time to adjust and get things the right shape and size before we start doing details. I'm going to start with the head because that's the best part. Let's just bring this back. Okie dokie. Let's start with this dragon head. Trying to do this, I don't know. It's hard to do it working this upside down. So, what I'm seeing is it comes out and we've got like a snout. And I'll erase my shape here. I don't really need it. It's just showing me where it is. And I've got, it comes out like that and a round part. And then I see some little teeth. And the bottom comes down, and I see some teeth. And notice that's fitting right into my triangle. Okay? Use that shape to guide you. Comes back over. Got some spikes and a little eye in there. Little teeny eye and some spikes for the chin. And that's a dragon head. I just did it by looking at what I saw. You just got to trust your eyes. You can draw this part of the mouth and the tongue. Now let's get this, this neck part. So that's coming down. I'll erase extra lines. And this dragon's got some nice big spikes. Go down and there's some webbing in between the spikes. That's fun. So that's just what I see. If you look at that picture, you can see that. It's a lot easier to do those little details once you've got a basic structure of shapes down first. If you're just starting with the eye or the teeth, you're going to get overwhelmed. It's going to be too hard. Let's do this arm. Arm comes down this way and then down. I'll erase the rest of my shape. And then he's got a little claw. I'll just do a simple claw like that. It's okay. It can be simple. You can simplify the drawing, and then the other arm I said was coming down here, and that one just kind of comes down, and that's a little claw down here. That's fine. It's not as good as the picture I'm drawing it from, but that's okay. I'm not. I'm different. I'm in a different place than that artist. That artist is. This is a really awesome painting of a dragon, and that is a painting, by the way. It's pretty sweet. All right. Let's work on this wing. I can see the wing. It's got this part here and this part here, right? So it's going to go like that and then up here. And then it's going to go down here. And I can see these little parts. You see that? One, two, three, four. Okay? We got one. And they start from here, this little corner here. We got one, we got two three, four. And we make it webbed in between. That's what I see. Boom! Dragon wing. How hard is that? Not that hard once you look at the shapes. Let's just do this one the same way. This piece, this piece, and this comes down. We got one, two, three, four. And we make them webbed. Erase the extra parts of the shape. Cool! What else we got? We got a leg. 
this leg's got a big piece here, and then it kind of comes back a little bit, and then we got the feet. This part has a leg part that comes here, and then it comes back, and then feet. Just drawing the shapes that I see. Okay. Tail. Easy. We pretty much got that right the first time. But let's just continue our spikes going down. And I see that the spikes are getting smaller. So we'll make them get smaller. And I'll erase my extra shape lines that I don't need anymore. And that's a pretty cool dragon. I mean, that's a good dragon. Could definitely spend some time shading and doing stuff like that if you want to. Or just move on to another one. That's totally up to you. So, um, maybe you've been drawing along with me here. Maybe you've just been watching. I don't know. Um, either way is fine. But what I'd like you to do, I would like you to practice this on your own by looking up some things on the internet or looking at some pictures that you have. Maybe you have like a book with pictures in it that you want to draw. Instead of putting something over it and tracing it, do like I showed you. Break it down into the basic shapes first like I showed you. Sketch out those basic shapes and then get more detailed as you go. Challenge yourself. And just keep in mind, you're not going to be able to do it like me right away. I know I maybe made this look really easy. It might be harder for you. That's okay. And this is because I've practiced this a lot, like a ton. And that's what you got to do. You just keep doing it. Don't just do one and say, I'm bad at this, and give up. You do one. If it doesn't turn out how you want, say, well, that's fine. I'm practicing. Do another one. Right? Try something else or try the same one again. Just keep at it and have fun doing it, too. Okay? So I'll give you some time to do that. Um, and I hope you have a good day. Um, Goodbye, everybody. Have fun. Make some drawings. <laughs> I'll leave that on there for you. Look at our time. Let's. Uh, I'll put up. I'll put up something for you. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to put up these Pokemon for you, and I'm going to help you figure out the shapes. So you can draw your own thing if you want, or you can use this. We already did Pikachu, so let me start with Bulbasaur. Round head shape. Round body shape. The shape for his bulb. Okay. Let's do Charmander. His head has two shapes. We've got a round shape and another round shape right here. So that. Body. See, those are his basic shapes. Pikachu. All right, start with those basic shapes and then work on your sketch.
All right, my friends, you have about four more minutes or so, but I do need to wrap up the video. So it's been nice hanging out with you, and have a good day. Keep on drawing for a little bit.